I have practiced yoga for years. I'm perhaps a little less dedicated a practitioner now than I was some years ago, but um, when I started to write The Happiest Tree, um, I did set out with the intention of writing a story that had a yoga element in it. And I began to think of myself as a child, and I was a very klutzy child. I am, in fact, still a klutzy adult. Um, but I think, ha and I didn't take yoga as a child, but I think if I had, it might actually have helped me to be a little more grounded than I was, or maybe it wouldn't have, who knows. Um, but uh, there was Mina, and she has a little bit of me in her, and she has a little bit of other kids I know in her. Um, and I put her in an urban setting, and um, then the rest pretty much went from there.